Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're gonna go over some of the items that I'm gonna be putting in my charcuterie board or grazing board or appetizer board, whatever you wanna call it. Now, of course I have some peppermint mocha coffee because duh, it's Christmas. And that's Wellington. What do you need, my baby? Ugh. He needed some attention. He's been very needy. Can you say hi? Oh, yes, you can. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of the items that I purchased that are gonna go on my board. Okay, buddy. Now, my charcuterie board is keto because I'm keto. And I'm gonna get him a treat. So hold on, what? Okay, he's all set. So, coffee, check. Now, for me, the board. I grabbed this cutting board at Ikea. It was, I think, $7.99. And I personalized it because I can do that. And then I took mineral oil and it looks so much better. So, that's my board. You don't have to have a board. You can make it on a tray. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get a tray. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. It doesn't have to be on a cutting board. If you have a regular cutting board, I also have like this size. If I wanted to do something personal for like a small little board for me, also Dollar Tree, I have all kinds of cutting boards, guys. These are all bamboo and you can build a, a, a mini charcuterie on that. It just doesn't matter. This is all about personal preference and what you like to eat. I'm gonna show you what I like to eat. So we're gonna start with some briny. My opinion, take it for what it's worth, is on my charcuterie board, I want meats and cheese. I love salty. I like some berries for some sweet. I'm gonna use some cranberry sauce as well as a sweet component but I also like salty briny, so I just do a variety of things. So for the salty briny, I got pickled garlic because it's so good. Um, the pickling process, this is raw garlic. The pickling process takes away that raw bite to it and it's so good. So I got some pickled garlic. I purchased some Kalamata olives. I got these at Aldi. These pickled garlic I got at Marshall's. I also have pickled Brussels sprouts, but I'm almost out. So I'm gonna see if they have any more. I really like a pickly, briny something. I got some grilled artichoke hearts. Now these are in olive oil. They're marinated, but I'm not, yeah, they're in oil. They're not briny. These are just almost creamy in texture. I got these at Trader Joe's. And then at World Market, I picked up green and Kalamata olives, pitted garlic. Oh, <laughs> green and Kalamata olives that are pitted, garlic, oregano, and it's marinated in brine. So some more olives. I love olives. I'll eat these all the time. And I probably will bring some pickles as well. So those are like things that will go in little glass bowls and I'll just set them about. Then... I bought at Costco, these are keto crackers. These are keto friendly for me. If you're not making it keto, just use regular crackers. It doesn't matter. But you want, or bread, French bread would be delicious, but you need something to like hold the meat and cheese, make yourself a little something. It also adds a little more substance to your board. I like some type of a bread product crackers bread whatever so i got these at costco i do know they sell these at aldi in a smaller bag and then while we're talking about crunchy bread like products because i'm keto i also got these are cheese bites which are like cheese wisps this is regular i think cheddar yeah like a cheddar and this is a cheddar these are, uh, might be Parmesan, but this has um, truffle oil on them. Fancy, I know. So I grabbed these again at Trader Joe's. I will probably bring the truffle ones to go on my board. Again, something crunchy, salty. It's all, for me anyway, it's all about the mix of sweet and salty and all the different components. So 
I also like this. If I wanted more of a bread, I could cut these up into wedges and throw them in the oven. These are cauliflower slims. There are four pieces in here. So I could quarter them, put a little olive oil on them, salt and pepper, toast them in the oven and have like a, more of a bread consistency. But like I said, if you do, if you eat bread, then you can have bread. You know, it's up to you. If I want something sweet, I also got this at Costco. These are little keto clusters, nuts and nuts and seeds and a little sweet sauce. So these are good to have. Also, if I want, this high key brand is low carb, low sugar. And these are little mini biscotti. So I could put these on the board if I want, you know, some different options. Now also at Trader Joe's, I got this mix of nuts. And this is a festive mix of seasoned and roasted almonds, cashews, pecans, and dried olives. Like what the heck? I have never had this before and I honestly cannot wait to crack into this, um, but I'm saving it for Christmas to take with me. It's a 10 ounce bag and I think it was like $4.99. So some of this stuff is not expensive, but it will feed me over several days. So I'm not too concerned about that. So I have this that'll go either just laid out. It could go on a little board, whatever. Guys, you're gonna die when you see what I also got. Can we please look at this little bottle of tahini? It's, it's smaller than my finger. It is, I don't even know if I can read, 0.35 ounce. It was 69 cents at World Market. If you've not been to World Market and you're thinking of doing a charcuterie board, they have everything you could possibly want there. And what I also like is they have a whole section where I got this that sells individually packaged little things to make baskets. You could also bring it if you're going to do a charcuterie board. But um, So I'm bringing this little tiny bottle of tahini to season some of my stuff. I wanted to share that with you. Now, oh, and then the last thing, I have already started eating these. Also got them at Costco. These are roasted garlic and herb seasoned almonds. They are so good. They are blanched almonds, extra virgin olive oil, peanut oil, roasted garlic, sea salt, basil, rosemary, and oregano. Now this is a big bag, so I have been noshing on this, but this is what it looks like. It's a blanched almond. Try not to get to focus on my face. It's a blanched almond that season. So this weekend, I'm gonna take some of these to my to my party. Cause you need to eat them before they go back. Little trick that I do to make them last a little longer. If I've opened a bag of nuts, I either store it in my freezer or definitely in my refrigerator. And I don't know how long they're good. Yeah, it says, Best if used by July of next year, but once open, I'm not sure. But they'll be they'll be eaten well before that. But this is a 2.2 pound bag. So I got plenty of nuts. Now vegetables. I <laughs> just use this as an example. I also got these at Trader Joe's, and they are miniature zucchini. So I'll go pick up fresh produce before we go. I'm actually eating these now, but I wanted to show you that I also put fresh produce out. T uh, little tip, if you have a Costco in your area, sorry, I have the bag open, or Sam's Club, if you go into their vegetable thing, like I'm just gonna grab a veggie tray that's already made up and take it with me to the cabin so we can eat on it all weekend that we're there. We're going Thursday night, so we'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, coming home Sunday. So three days. And she and I will, it's going to be Sarah and I the whole time. And then on Friday, my brother and his wife and my other brother are coming. And that's Sarah's dad, stepmom and uncle. And then on Saturday, her mom, stepdad and brother are coming. So we got a lot going on. Okay, now for for... The meat and cheese, again at Trader Joe's, I was able to find this little tapas and it's Spanish cheeses, Iberico, Cabra, Alvino, and Manchego. And I know I've seen these also at Aldi, these little packages of cheese, 
but just get a variety. And again, with the cheese, maybe a little sweeter cheese, a salty cheese, a briny cheese, just three, you know, different kinds of cheese. You could do um, a brie, or you could just do cheddar. I mean, whatever cheese you like. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, I may go get one more of these for the weekend, but we'll see. Because I also got a goat cheese that I like with, this is just herbed goat cheese. And carb wise, uh, this is not bad. Six grams of fat, no added sugar, four protein. And I don't think there was any carbohydrate in it or very low. But so for the cheeses, I have a soft cheese. And then these are pretty firm. This, these two are kind of firm. This one's a little soft, but I definitely a soft cheese. And I will have put like knives and stuff out. We'll talk about that. And then the meat, I got uncured Canadian bacon and I'll probably cut this in half for myself. I also got some prosciutto de Parma and it's actually a two pack. I cut it in half. I'm gonna throw one in the freezer and I will take this. Um, if you've never had prosciutto, it's a very rich, it's very rich in taste and texture. Um, is there a good fat content? Not overly fatty, but there's definitely a, a richness. And then I got some uncured Genoa salami. And I also have turkey that's just, that I will cut up and have all of that out on the board with my meats and cheeses. I mean, with my cheeses and um, crackers. Now, maybe I won't stick it all out at once. Maybe I will. The plan, I think, is I will bring them all in containers that can be resealed and put away. Now, what's very important to me is my beverages of choice. And I did get some Cafe Du Monde chicory coffee. Oh, I love this stuff. But the decision is, do I bring my coffee, my cream frother that heats it up? Because really, you want to make a, a latte out of this. So this may or may not come. But um, I first got this. This is from Cafe Du Monde in Louisiana, New Orleans, to be exact. And I spent $10 on this can of coffee. Sure did. So I will make sure it's delicious. So we have that. Now let me put this cold stuff away and then we're gonna talk about some vessels. So hang on with me one second. Okay, I got all the cold stuff put away. And vessel wise, I will say also before we talk about vessels. Well, I guess these are. These little cups from the Dollar Tree, they're just little condiment cups or ramekins they're four for a dollar i need to get some more myself but those are great to put nuts in to put sauces in i'm going to be doing like a cranberry sauce but if you want to put out like special spiced mustard and mayonnaise and whatever those are great for that and then i'm sure you all have these butter spoon butter knives from your different sets of dishes <laughs> Um, you can use those or the Dollar Tree, the little silver tiny serving spoons that they have that come in like a pack of 15. They have forks and spoons. I plan on just using those because then I can toss them away and don't have to worry about washing them. Um, I also have bowls like these that I brought out. This is holding some candy. Um, this is a plate that I made back in 2011. So I might bring that to put like some cheap, the moist moist stuff the cheese and things so i don't have to necessarily scrub my cutting board after um, you can put parchment down if you want to kind of protect your cutting surface or if you want to do it just on a table any little vessel will work any bowl that you have i like clear glass you can use white um, i have plastic ones in the garage and i'll try to remember to film when i set this up at christmas time but i won't be doing it until then but um also put some little candies out and about these are sugar-free peppermints because that's what i can have but you can put on your board chocolates um i think we're also going to do like a breakfast board with pancakes i have some keto waffle mix so we'll see what we get into but i guess the point is don't feel like you have to be fussy and go out and buy a bunch of stuff because you do not um, just put out the foods that you like and that will get eaten. If everybody in your family wants some of the Hawaiian rolls with all these different kinds of meats and cheese and mayonnaise and mustard and call it a day, then that's what it is. And that's what makes you happy. There's no like rule 
it's your thing. You can do it. I can do it. We can do it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I had gotten a lot of questions on what I'll be putting on my charcuterie board and what I'll be using. So that's what I have for you today. And I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic night. Bye.